the air comes out. Um, now we also like to squeeze this upper hose, but just be real careful not to get your hands anywhere in the belt area. This kind of helps the air, air come out. So uh, we're going to do that so now. now. Um, the only things we have left to do is put our skid plate or splash guard on if you had one on there. Um, replace that and uh, we'll keep this coolant tank topped off while it's running. Heater on full blast. And keep it topped off with water. It's the other half of your 100% coolant mix. Do this till the car warms up slightly and stops burping air. Once it no longer burps up any air to where you can put coolant in it, replace the cap and shut off the car. Okay, so we replaced the top cap as soon as uh, it wouldn't accept any more water. And uh, we've checked for leaks, make sure that our belts aren't squealing or anything. Everything seems to be in order, no check engine lights, and uh, we're running the heater on high, and our temp gauge, it's been running now for a good 10 minutes, and uh, it's not even at the halfway mark. If it, uh, if it goes above half or close to three quarters, I, I would shut it down, and that would mean that you probably have air in your cooling system still, and you might want to let it cool off and then re-burp and refill the coolant. Well, that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Hey.